You're on. All right, we're out here fishing in uh, northern Illinois, and we're, it's a little slow, it's cold. Just had about a 20 degree temperature drop two days ago, and it stayed at that lower temperature uh, for the last few days. But we're catching fish, uh, they're biting really light. So what I'm doing right now is I'm taking advantage of this kind of function that not a lot of people do. And um, I'm using this Hummingbird uh, depth finder. I think I may have just lost my minnow there. Nope, still got it. Uh, using this Hummingbird depth finder like you would a Vexlar flasher or whatever flasher brand you have. So uh, there you can see my uh, jig going down there. And then it's just very much the same as ice fishing. I, I don't know how many fish I've missed, but. I've missed a lot, so you know kind of when to slow down, when to jig aggressively, and uh, that whole type of situation. Other than that, I think it's going to be slow, but we should have enough fish to at least have dinner. <laughs> so, <laughs> or, or we'll just go to Buffalo Wild Wings. <laughs> oh, <laughs> on cue, I miss one. Okay. There he is. Right on camera. Good, good sheep's head is what this feels like. Maybe not. Maybe he's fell hooked. <laughs> no? Hooked in the mouth? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> There's a good sheep's head. So, I know you guys in Texas or wherever are saying this is not a very good sheep's head. Up in this lake, and we just barely got him. Just... And sheep's head right there, maybe. 13, 14 incher. Uh... And we're keeping them today, so. I've had them before. They're tasty. I don't know why more people don't eat them. It's fat. I don't know why more people don't eat them. And uh, that's about all. We'll keep you updated. Okay, I'll quickly show you what we're doing here. And you can see I'm hopping my jig off the bottom. And every once in a while there's a fish. There's not a fish on it right now. There's a fish. So you see there's a big red mark. And my jig is yellow. And then when a big red mark comes up off the bottom in 22 feet there, that's a fish. So, I know a lot of you know how to fish with a flasher, but not that many people have done it in open water like this, or do it in open water like this. So, it's just uh, something to think about. Nice sheep. Nice big sheep's head. That's... Probably the biggest one of the day right there. Here. I caught this fish. <laughs> As you did not see. Probably a Almost 16, maybe 15 inch sheep's head right there. Uh, you know what? This is going to be the luckiest sheep's head in the world. You're recording. Just set the hook on. Not a very big fish. Oh, I'm glad we got the camera up. No, just kidding. So, I switched to a spoon. Did pretty well, too. I'm now using artificials. But the same kind of technique, just going around, moving when you don't get bit. Uh, okay. Looking for fish on the Vexilar. And it's helped us a few times when... Uh, toss that little sheep's head back. But it's helped us a few times when we had fish um, marking up higher in the water column. I remember uh, we reeled up and caught about a 15-inch walleye that way. Same thing with a white bass. and Just kind of... Being aware of your surroundings is the important thing, and uh, you'll catch more fish. E, there we go. Nice fish. Nice sheep. Way to go, Dad. Thanks. That's a very nice sheep set right there. Just gotta hold on tight. There we go. Nice little sheep's head, about 13 inch. Back you go. 
Nice old sheep to end the day. By the elder statesman. <laughs> What's the review on sheep's head? Haven't targeted him much. I don't think anybody's targeted him much. Um, I got nothing but good things to say about him. Yeah. Tastes good. Had some last week. Uh, yeah, let him go. Week. You're going to have some this week. Some on ice down there, even though we don't need it because it's like 33 degrees. I we think it might be in the 30s still. I think it's still in the 30s. But, uh, fight hard. You got Look, a fish? Good yeah. Here, I'll take it. So we're still running here, and uh, go I, ahead, Jake. I, I was going back to pick my rod up to reel it in to end the day. This might be a catfish. This is a catfish. Can you see it? No, but I can feel it. You need the net? I will. So, this is an ultralight rod here. This is a big catfish, too. <laughs> okay. I'm going to... Um, no, keep, keep recording. Okay. Um, I don't know how big it is, actually, to be quite honest. But get that rod bent. Have you seen the fish? Do you know it's a catfish? Uh, it sure feels like one. Get your rod out there. Get Have to, one. just a minute. No, keep, the, keep recording. Yeah. I will. Um, well, I was filming my dad's last fish. I left my rod out. I have a spoon on here uh, with some small hooks, so we'll see. But I left my rod out, and I noticed it was bobbing a little bit. So I picked it up, set the hook, felt like I was on bottom. Well, I was holding the camera, so you probably know this, too. <laughs> Anchor up to worry about. I'm trying to... Oh, that was a big roll right there. I'm going to get the net. I'll keep filming while I do. Okay, you can hand me the net, and I'll net him. No, I'll net it. You just keep the fish. Don't break him off. Okay, take... sure you get this on camera. We, don't... we, we want to take all you guys fishing with us. Oh, it's a, it's a muskie, it's a muskie, it's a muskie, it's a muskie. Now you're probably wondering what's happening right now, and that's fair because we were too at that point. Um, what had happened was I had thought that fish was a catfish the whole way, and it was really a muskie, and a mid-40s muskie at that. And I, you just didn't fight very hard because I guess those small hooks don't really piss them off like the big hooks do. Um, but we got it up, and right now my dad's probably trying to net it. It's way bigger than our 36-inch net, not even close. And it goes back down and kind of moves the line in its mouth and gets it off, uh, bites me off. About 45? Yeah, I'd say. Easy. Yeah, that was biggest muskie in my life by... And I've caught a few, I've caught maybe five or six, but that was the biggest muskie in my life by probably, probably eight inches. And, uh, got it right here. Uh, and just bit me off. Because I, I knew, I, I figured if I got him right in the corner, then it was going to stay on. But I, I saw him and I didn't. It was somewhere, somewhere slightly deeper than that. So, surprised it didn't bite me off earlier, you know, you figure figure those guys have such huge teeth anyway we got a big musky up uh he hooked a big musky on an actual musky lure about 15 well no probably hour and 15 minutes ago so lost two big huge musky caught a lot of other fish <laughs> disappointing good. but still pretty, pretty cool pretty good day huh yeah pretty cool day I, now I want to figure out whether I had a sheep's head on that, uh, sheep's head on here, or whether uh, that muskie just ate my spoon. I think probably the latter, but never know. Crazy. Crazy day.